Please don't say my name wrong. <laughs> Here we go. Yep, that is me. How are you enjoying your first training camp so far? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm having a, a great time, man. Just being in this environment, um, being around the guys, you know, staying in the dorm rooms, uh, being at the calf. You know, they got some really good cottage cheese in there, too. <laughs> Try it out, man. Um, you know, I'm not a huge cottage cheese fan, but um, they, they got some good stuff over there. So um, other than that, um, I've been enjoying it, though. One of, uh, one of your kids, you threw a little piece out of it. Is that just something that you... That you uh, I know you just you just run past people and then they can't catch it and then you just kind of just look back and taunt them a little bit. You know, soft running game, so that, you know why not? Marquez, you, you noted how you, you can line up sort of anywhere in this offense. How, how much are you enjoying um, and how, much, how refreshing it is it to be in, in the Reed offense after some maybe a little bit more one dimensional and green green best? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, Coach Reed is one of the most brilliant coaches that's you know coached this game. And for him to be able to get playmakers in different positions to go out and, and succeed, he's been doing that for a long time and been very successful at it. Um, so being a part of that, you know, I'm excited about it. You know, it's a new challenge, uh, but, it, you know, it's, it's going to be great. And obviously with 15 back there, you can pretty much do anything. So. Mark Les, obviously you get a day off tomorrow, but the pads come on Monday. As a veteran guy, what do you look forward to the most? When you transition from the unpadded session of practice to the pads on Monday, uh, it doesn't really change much for the wideouts. It's more for the the bigger guys and the running backs. They get to do a little more, um, but for us, you know, we still run the same. Uh, it's still the same amount of running, same amount of uh, you know pass plays. Uh, you know, but obviously, you know, the intensity goes up a little bit more, um, and I think that's just going to be you know exciting to you know see you know the whole team in full force. Do you, get, do you sense um, maybe even the cornerbacks and defensive backs? Because now they can initiate a little bit more contact than they are out here now. What, what, how do you feel their intensity matches y'all's intensity? Um, I mean, I don't know. I haven't, uh, I haven't been here for for it. Um, but you know, in, in past, um, you know, pads don't really do much for the you know the the other guys um, on my side of the ball, as in you know wideouts and, and DBs. Um, you know, you might get a little more physical play, you know, at the line of scrimmage or a little more contested catches. Uh, but other than that, you know, I think it's more so for the big guys and let them to be able to run the ball and, you know, really, really do stuff in there. Is there, is there something you've gained even as early as you are to camp? Talk with Patrick about what he sees, how he likes the routes. I guess it might be similar to what you guys went through a little bit in Texas, but just what have you noticed that you, you can gain from him through the playbook? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, Pat's one of those guys where he can make any throw. And with that, he kind of gives you some freedom to kind of, you know, work some things into it. And, you know, obviously with him and, and Kelsey been doing it the longest here, um, you learn a lot from those two guys about how they see things and, you know, how they run routes and how they get open and how they find different voids and defenses um, and, you know, what he likes and how soon he reads it. Um, so obviously with, with those two guys, I've learned a lot, you know, over my, you know, few months here. Um, anybody can get the ball at any time. Um, it's very explosive. Uh, we, we pass the ball a lot, you know, so obviously as a receiver, I'm going to love that. Um, and I think that it's just, it's really fun, you know, and it's really exciting. You know, we do a lot of stuff. We move guys all around, a lot of motions. Um, you know, and I think it's just going to be really fun to go out there and, and make it happen on Sundays. As you mentioned uh, 15, how has the experience with Mahomes maybe been a little bit different than your experience with Rodgers, if at all? Um, it really hasn't been different, to be honest. Um, you know, they're, you know, best quarterbacks in the NFL, you know, and there's, you know, a huge gap, you know, after those two. Uh, so just having those two guys, you know, throughout my career, um, I've, I've been blessed. And, um, you know, there's they're not much different, you know, just their mentality, you know, how they want to compete every day, how they want to make the defense look bad every single play. Um, you know, I think that, you know, obviously Aaron being in the league a lot longer than Pat, you know, he has a lot more experience in, in certain things and seeing certain things. Um, but, you know, they're completely the same quarterback, man. And, you know, obviously talent wise and, you know, mentality wise, um, you know, so I, I can't really point out too many differences between the two of them. You know, you just talked about what you love about the Chiefs offense, but what's going to be the most challenging part about it? I know you talked about how, you know, you can spread the ball around. It seems like you always have to keep the head on the stool, especially if you go out of the pocket. So what's going to be the biggest challenge with this offense for you? Um, there's not really challenges um, with, with the offense, man. Football is football. You know, it doesn't really, doesn't really change. Um, you know, 
back from when it started, you know, hundreds of years ago. Um, there's, there's not challenges, you know, obviously you're going to have different defenses and, and different looks and people are going to try to stop you and, and what you do good at. Um, so, you know, but challenges, I don't really see any, you know. Do you feel like you're going to be uh, you're doing the preseason a lot more reps than you normally would just because of the new, a lot of new skill players come together to get you prepared for Arizona? Yeah, I mean, obviously with the new core group of guys um, in, in the wideout room, um, as many reps as we can get as possible is going to be great. That's why, you know, we had our offseason workouts and went down to Texas with Pat and, and worked out with him so we can understand what he wants and how he sees it. Um, but, you know, like I said, playmakers are going to make plays, you know, and that's what we do. So I think we're going to be just fine. I was just, just going to ask you, anything you've noticed so far with this new secondary as well, just competing with them day in and day out? Yeah, they can't stop us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. Is, is, that, is that a business that is shared explicitly with the rookies so far? No, it doesn't matter who it is. You know, they just can't stop us. And we feel like that with, with anybody, you know. So it's not, you know, our defense is. I feel like we have one of the, the better talented, you know, offices in the league. So, you know, we're going to feel that same mentality, you know, no matter who lines up in front of us. They just happen to be the guys in front of us every day right now. Anybody else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, Brad, I need my push-ups.